Hey, what's up guys? I'm a Victorian and welcome back to Hearts Round 4 as we are playing as Germany. So I hope everybody had an excellent weekend. If you're in America and you're celebrating Independence Day, July 4th, I hope your holiday was uh, really fun and you had a good time. We had a pretty good day here at our house. You know, we grilled and burgers were delicious as usual. And uh, we also did some fireworks. We didn't have as many as we had last year, uh, which we didn't. We don't usually buy a ton, but... We certainly didn't have very many this year because money's pretty tight. Uh, has been pretty tight in our house this year, so didn't quite have as many fireworks as we would have liked. But we still had a, a pretty good time, played some football, and uh, yeah, it was a it was a good day, good weekend. Uh, so I hope your weekend was good as well. So before we jump into the episode here, I want to show you that we have named the final unit here the Cav Division. And I've never been able to pronounce this properly. The CH in German always messes me up. Also the U with the two dots over. I'm not entirely sure how that's pronounced. Uh, we're just going to call them uh, Blukers. But I know that is completely wrong. I looked at how it's supposed to be pronounced. And yeah, I, I, don't, even, I, I don't even know if I could pronounce it. I'm so terrible with it. But anyways, uh, I know that I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, but this is named after a fairly famous uh, Prussian field marshal from the Napoleonic Wars. So we've got all the units named. However, there was one person that had an issue with this name, Jaegers, because obviously it's not very fitting for this big old 40 width division, since that would be more like skirmishers, you know, hunters, uh, rangers uh, is one way that we could look at it, like the American rangers uh, would kind of be more equivalent of uh, what this this unit would you know, more represent based on that name. Uh, so it's, it's not very fitting for the name. I only went with it because a lot of people suggested it. I think like three or four people suggested this name. And we didn't really have anything else to name that since we'd already named the mountain troops that. Uh, so one person did have an issue with it. They re really didn't like this name for the big 40 width unit. We can change it if other people have a problem with it. Let me know what you guys think. We can always change this to something else if enough people have an issue with it. I don't ever change anything based on just one person because, well, frankly, one thing I've learned on YouTube is there's absolutely nothing you can do. Uh, where at, at least one person isn't going to have a problem with it. Uh, there's always going to be one person that doesn't like something. So if one person uh, doesn't like something, we won't change it. But, you know, if enough people do, then we'll certainly uh, take a look at that and maybe get something a little bit more accurate, if you guys would prefer. Just let me know down in the comments below. So yeah, let's go to jump into today's episode where we should, uh, well, we might join the war. We'll see. I think we could very well because... Italy's doing claims on Yugoslavia. Now the question is, oh wait a minute, speaking of factions here, it looks like we can invite everybody into the faction now, perhaps without these. That's the way it seems. Did they join the war? Is that what's going on here? Uh, why Why are, are, is everybody all of a sudden willing to join the faction? Well, I'm not sure why, but yeah, we'll go ahead and invite them all now. That'll allow us to skip. Hmm, that's really strange. Yeah, the month flipped over, and now everybody's willing to join the faction. Uh, roll tension. That's probably what it was. Roll tension's now sitting at 95%. The Soviets just increased it drastically. Did they declare war on somebody or something? They're justifying against Poland, so the Soviets might end up attacking Poland. We wanted them to join the faction here, but they have not... They haven't done their focuses quick enough. So the uh, Polish might not be... Uh, Able to get into the, the common turn before the Soviets just straight up attacking them. Uh, yeah, looks like that's the case. And that does not have to do with their focus, by the way. This is just them straight up justifying using the uh, diplomatic option. And so, now that world tension is so high, everybody is willing to join our faction. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to accept everybody who's willing. Uh, so yeah, or probably everybody. Uh, so Sweden is one. Uh, we've got Luxembourg. Oh yeah, I think we might be able to skip all these focuses. That'd be so helpful. Although some of them actually give you some good stuff, I think. I don't think they're all just... Yeah, I think some of them actually help you increase democracy, so... Maybe skipping through those might not be a good thing. Alright, we'll see who all accepts that. And this might change what I was saying here. Although I guess it, it doesn't, because Serbia is not one of those. So we actually have a faction now, guys. Look at this. Uh, so... All of them accepted it, so we now have Czechoslovakia, Luxembourg, the Hungarians, uh, Sweden, Belgium, and Denmark all in the faction. We do not have Finland or Norway yet. Uh, the Low Countries, we don't have the Dutch, but we have the other two. Uh, over here, we still need to get Austria, which I think you can get Austria annexed if they're both in your faction and a democracy as Democratic Germany. I think they like uh, vote to, to join Germany or something like that. So we don't have them in there yet. 
Uh, Romanians and the Bulgarians aren't in either, and neither are any of the Baltic countries here. All right, well, that's interesting. Again, I think it just had to do with world tension there. However, what I was looking at here is the fact that uh, the Italians are doing claims on Yugoslavia. We don't have the Serbians in the faction yet, and as far as focuses go, these, these were not canceled. I don't know if it ever... I mean, we want to look at that real quick. If any of these are ever bypassed because you got them in the faction... Let me just see it. And remember, we don't have everybody yet, so... Yeah, it's because we don't have Austria yet, so that's the reason why this one's not bypassed. And this one doesn't give any benefit, so we'd really like to, to be able to bypass it. But unfortunately, Austri Austria, I think they're kind of fascist, uh, so I think that's the reason why they're not willing to join us. Uh, what about over here? Yeah, I think all of them can be bypassed as long as you have them all in the faction, so they're not being bypassed because we're missing, like, one country with each of them. Here we're missing Austria, here we're missing the Dutch, and here we're missing Norway. Okay, so uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens here. Uh, but I think the Italians might end up attacking you, Slavia. Remember, Serbia is the leader of all of these countries. They're all subjects of Serbia. So once we get Serbia in the faction, we get all of them into the faction. So we did get the naval bombers, which is excellent because I think we're a month away from getting the carriers. So we want to start building those. Uh, let's go ahead and work on the fighters next. And we're going to need to go ahead and build these new carrier naval bombers. We'll just put them right here. Uh, we'll need to get a factory towards them. Uh, in fact, there's like a lot of stuff that needs factories, isn't there? We'll, we'll take a look at what we're building because you can see that we have some free civilian factories now. Uh, but let me see if there's anything we can pull from. I feel like we could probably pull one anti-tank, but yeah, none of this is gonna, none of this is gonna help us here to get it down to the the carrier naval bomber. So what we might want to do, let's kind of throw this up here, pull one from the uh, infantry equipment, so that they get the one factory, so we can at least start building those. And let's go ahead and get some stuff built. We're working on civilian factories right now. Uh, let's get another military factory going. And then we're going to do some refineries, and then we'll do the uh, the radar stations. So let's go ahead and do just a couple refineries here. And then after that, we'll get the uh, the radar going, as we are going to start preparing for the actual conflict now. Uh, we'll do this one here. I think this is probably the closest to the channel. So we'll do one right there, and then we're going to do one right here. And we're going to get those both up to level 3, and we'll probably want to get one here as well. Uh, but for right now, let's just get those two to cover the C zones here really start uh, preparing for this conflict now because again I think it's gonna break out very soon now that we actually have a faction and, and any of them could get war declared on them yeah uh, there's definitely a chance that this is gonna start up soon so I think we have two slots going towards equipment here and I think we're gonna continue having two slots going towards equipment uh, we actually might have uh, yeah yeah we have two because we have one going for the battleships Alright, so what we need to do next is, is get any other equipment we don't have yet, uh, which I think the only thing we need now for the battleships is just the big guns. So I think we're going to get that next. Uh, let's go after the improved heavy battery, 65 days, to knock that out. So we can try and get the uh, the battleship built as soon as we have the, uh, the current model that we're working on built, which it will be in July here. So the idea here, as soon as that's done, we'll be able to start working on a newer battleship because we'll have all the, the equipment for them. Uh, so we did get the the battleship model. Let's go ahead and see what we need to get next. There's still a lot of equipment left to get. We're also going to want to get some carriers built. Let's go ahead and actually get the carrier hull. We'll get that worked on now. Okay, so making good good progress in the tech tree. It is difficult because we are trying to do the land, sea, and air. Uh, so that's always results in uh, needing a lot of stuff. Quite a few things. Uh, especially for like the the cruisers, the the smaller ships, you just need so many things for them. Uh, you know, torpedoes, mortars, uh, depth charges. Excuse me. Uh, this is the depth charge mortar. Uh, but yeah, we need depth charge stuff. You know, torpedoes, the guns, secondary guns. There's so much stuff you need for like the little ones. Luckily, we have the the last secondary gun here, the dual purpose secondary battery, so that can be used for when we get those carriers. And I think that's all we need, right, is the, the torpedoes, the guns. I guess you need the snorkels, too, for the submarines. All right, well, let's go ahead and work on... I suppose we'll do the medium battery next. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the medium battery. That'll be 65 days to knock that out. And just really focus on these naval techs so we can uh, 
you know, modernize the entire uh, production of our, our fleet. So we get the improved rubber processing. Fantastic. And uh, what I think we're going to go for next is the fuel refining too. Uh, so we can make better use of the, the oil that we currently have uh, because we're really, yeah, still having some trouble with the fuel. Remember, we're trading for fuel right now. And so we could get some of our factories back, although it looks like we're not getting everything from the Romanians. So yeah, we could get some of our factories back. Now, because we now have several members in our faction, we just got a new operative. So that'll be our third operative and really opens up what we can do now. Uh, so let's go ahead and see who we want. I'm seeing a linguist here, uh, and Emma Becker might be our best choice. I don't know that we'll use any of those missions, per se, but linguist is always great because they can pick up the new languages faster. And just the fact that she has the two traits makes me want to go for her, so I think we will. And she's got a nice hat, too. So we now have enough uh, operatives to actually do some missions, but our intel is not high enough. Uh, so essentially, we need to focus on Britain. All right, so let's go ahead and do the build intel network here, and we'll do it with him. And then she, although you know what, actually, let's have him stay back home. Maybe she'll learn English over here and get that British nationality. So yeah, we'll have uh, her help. And uh, once we get the intel high enough, we're going to try and steal tech from them. We're going to infiltrate their, their navy and see if we can't steal one of their techs. Let's see how that goes down. But yeah, we're making good progress here. We're in 1940 again. I, I said the war would likely start a bit later for us. Uh, technically, you could say World War II has already begun because of the Japanese-Chinese conflict. Personally, I consider World War II uh, historically to have started with the Japanese-Chinese War. Some people consider World War II starting when the Germans invaded Poland. But I don't. I personally think it started in, uh, what was that, 1937 when the Japanese attacked China? Uh, so we do have dockyards open, and that's because we finished building that carrier. So let's go ahead and get these placed somewhere. We're not going to build a new carrier yet because we don't have the newest model. So we're just going to wait till we get that, that model in 79 days. And for now, we'll just work on... Do we have everything for the, the battleships? I'm not entirely sure. Let's, let's try building it. Let's see what we're lacking and if we want to, to build uh, the latest battleship. Uh, so let's go in here and get the, the 1940 model fully updated. Uh, so we don't have the guns yet. So we know for sure we don't have the guns. Then we can just wait to build it until we have everything. Are we getting the guns? We are. Uh, 40 days. Now I don't even know what all we have and what all we don't. So I guess we'll just focus on building uh, cruisers for now. Just try and get these cruisers built a little bit quicker. Uh, maybe do eight here, six here, and maybe get a few more destroyers. We need to build more dockyards. 26 is not bad for Germany. That's respectable, uh, but definitely not not enough. Uh, just looking at how many dockyards the British have. Uh, well, we'd have to look on the civilian. They only have 24. They have not been building dockyards up. They've been working on military and civilian factories. So we actually have more dockyards now than the British do. Uh, Italy announces their claims. Wait a minute. They're already in the... Uh, Oh, that's probably why they, they turned us down. It's because they're already in the faction. Uh, but now that brought in Austria. Uh, so Austria is now in the Central European Alliance. They are not democratic. I think they need to be democratic to, to annex them. Uh, but I'm basing that off of what people told me in the comments. So if they're wrong, then maybe we'll get them annexed uh, without them being democratic. But otherwise, we'll have to wait until they slowly get that democratic ticked up, which I don't think we have anything doing that right now. Uh, oh yes, we do. The Great Red Menace is slowly ticking up their democracy gain. That's right. That was one of the advantages of doing that focus. So we have completed this. That's how we got Austria in it, in the uh, faction. So we're going to do this one next because we're really trying to help out Serbia. Although, if they get attacked by Italy, they might just be willing to join the faction. You know, just to get some assistance. Uh, they're at negative 60 right now, so increasing relations would have no effect. Uh, you get like, is it plus 10 I think it's plus 10 maybe plus 20 uh, from improving relations I believe it's plus 10 uh, which they're at negative 60 so improving relations would not help essentially okay so Austria is now in the faction we'll see if we end up annexing them by event again I kind of think that just based on what people told me you have to they have to be democratic so they can vote for it they're considered not aligned right now so yeah I imagine that they they won't be able to do the referendum on joining Germany 
until they become a democracy. So that might be a bit later, guys. But yeah, we could end up fighting Italy soon. Oh, wait a minute. We got another, uh, oh, that's Norway. All right, well, that will bypass that one, uh, I was really hoping it was Serbia, <laughs> so to bypass the current focus. Yeah, that'll bypass the, uh, the other focus, though. Should. As soon as they're in. Maybe not. Let's just take a look here at why we haven't bypassed this yet. Watch this be the only one that doesn't have a bypass. Yeah, because we got Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. Maybe it just takes some time, because it looks like we've, we have them all, all true. So we should bypass that. Yep, there we go. I was just being too quick with it. Uh, so that'll now allow to let us get the Baltic membership and the Finnish membership, which those are two, well, not two countries, because this is three. These, I guess you'd say four countries that are very likely to be attacked by the Soviets. Uh, the Soviets did not attack Poland yet, interestingly enough. Okay, and Italy has not attacked Serbia. But there is a civil war in Africa, South Africa. So the imperialists have joined the Anglo-Italian pact. One person noted the fact that in India this resulted in a weird situation where the uh, imperialists did not join the Anglo-Italian pact and said just regular India did, which is the not aligned. We saw that last episode. Sometimes it just kind of gets weird. And this might be it right here, actually. Maybe they don't need to be democratic. Uh, it says Austrian pro-German sentiment soars. German sentiment in our southern neighbor Austria has increased remarkably now that we have been allies for some time. It would not be outside the realm of possibility that a referendum calling for unification with Germany might meet with the Austrian appro uh, people's approval. Should we urge the Austrian government to hold one? Yes, of course. So yeah, they don't need to be democratic to do this. Okay, so one, I think one or two people stated they need to be democratic for it to happen, but it looks like they just need to be in the same faction. Good to know. So yeah, of course, we would like to annex them. I did think it's funny that they said that they've been in our faction for some time. That is obviously not true. They just joined our faction. And if they join, we'll, we'll get all their units, and we'll have to change them up, change their, their uh, designs up. Uh, and South Africa joined that Chinese United Front. Remember, that's going to continue to happen until, until we go to war. And then uh, all that that faction would join our faction. But their war will likely be over before it happens. Although, who knows what's going to happen here, guys. China's, you know, takes a little while to capitulate. they got a lot of territory. And so that war has ended over here. But, you know, the Bangladesh is, is now free. We got our heavy batteries. I think that means that we have everything for the uh, battleships. We'll go ahead and double check on that. And then if we do, then we'll, we'll build them. But we need to find something to get next. Uh, we, we still need to get the small guns. 65 days. And then, of course, we got to get all the holes and the stuff for the submarines. Let's do the... I guess we'll do the uh, the cruiser stuff next. Uh, so we'll get the cruiser holes here. 55 days to get that researched. Since we had that research bonus. We also have an additional operative. And now we've got more members. Uh, there's another seducer. It's, it's Granny. <laughs> yeah, Granny is a seducer. I mean, some people are into that kind of thing. They like uh, the older folks. All right. Uh, so I kind of feel like you got to hire Granny, man. Yeah, Granny is our new, we'll call her Granny Graf. And she'll be our uh, our new operative here. So we're at 32%, so not able to do the mission yet. And we'll need four operatives total because you send three there while one continues doing the Build Intel Network. So whatever we assign Granny to, it doesn't really matter because we'll need to use her. Uh, we could just try and get the intel up higher. Or we could work on the Italians here since they're a likely enemy that we'll be fighting. The Italians and the British here. So we'll work on them for now, get a little bit of intel on them. Let's take a look at our equipment situation and see if we can start building units again. Because yeah, we were pretty short on equipment there for a time, but it looks like, other than the tanks, we're doing pretty good. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and build some units up. We're going to want to get... More of our large 40 width divisions, I think. We've got to get two more of those. And can we get more mountain troops? We cannot. All right, so that sh did not work. Let's do that again. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, so we won't do the light tanks since obviously we have some equipment issues there. We'll just get a few more of the uh, 40 width divisions. And great day for the German, the German question, as the Austrian people have voted for unification. All right, so this becomes core territory, guys. And we'll get all three of those states as core territory. So that is excellent. Of course, we get all their units as well. We don't want their unit designs. Uh, yeah, they got a crud of uh, unit designs, because that's the way the AI rolls. 
we don't need any of these. Our unit designs are good, guys. And, and we don't need any additional ones. If they had like a medium tank one, then we'd make use of that, but they don't have that, of course. So uh, in order to get rid of the rest of these, we're gonna need to change up their designs to ours, just so that we don't have a bunch of different designs here, guys. So we wouldn't be able to change all those up. Okay, so what we're gonna need to do is just take them one at a time and turn them into the, uh, probably just do the, the small divisions since we're short on equipment. Yeah, we'll just do the small divisions for these until we're able to change up. Let's see how many we can change. Now nah, we can't even change one. So the problem here is that, you know, these guys here are uh, messing up our limit. So let's see if we can do one now. No, we cannot. I was hoping that, you know, having the additional divisions would let us do it. We might not be able to do it at all, though. All right, so last one, see if we can change him. We can. All right, so we'll move him over to our design because I'm sure our design was larger, so I think that's what the issue was. We'll need to get the Italian border defended now, so we're going to need to move some units down here. Uh, luckily, we do have spare units on this front here. We'll probably just create an additional army here. And then, of course, we'll have all these guys. And we'll likely just... Um, I don't want to rotate them, though. All right, let's go ahead and take this cab unit. We know we're going to get rid of him and makes him into this one. And the reason why we're doing the smaller division designs here is just because I'm worried about the equipment uh, problems. All right, so let's just throw these all into one army because it'd be easier. And then go ahead and just slowly switch them all up again to the uh, the small design for now. Maybe we'll change this guy over to the bigger one so we'll have one down here. And that is right here. But yeah, there's certainly gonna be some uh, some shortages here on equipment now. This is the one right here. I knew we had one left. We'll change up uh, these guys as well to the bigger design. All right, anything else that needs to be done? I don't think so. Let's let's double check on that. Get rid of these other designs here. Uh, there's still one template out there, uh, which should be in this one here. We'll just have to find them. We could also change his icon to make it easier to find them. But I was thinking it wouldn't be an issue. Looks like it's going to be an issue. Huh, do we not have one selected? Ah, Alright, so we're going to have to change his icon so I can find this damn guy. So we'll change him over to that. So we can see him. Okay, so he's not here. Watch him be all the way down here at the bottom. Yep, there he is. Alright, so let's figure out where the hell this guy was. Oh, he was over here already. Alright, so he had already moved over to help the Hungarians out. I see, so that's why we weren't able to get him selected. All right, so let's go ahead and put him into this army as well, and then get him changed up to this design. All right, so let's go ahead and place these guys over here. Uh, though I am tempted to take all of these and put them onto this front, and then we'll just take some of the divisions here that are actually trained so that all these units won't be untrained, is the idea here. And then one more where we have two divisions somewhere. I guess it'll have to be down here. And it looks like we haven't changed, oh yeah, we have. I was gonna say, that it looks like we hadn't changed all the, the designs yet over. All right, so we'll move some of them over here so these aren't all untrained units with lacking uh, equipment. And then we'll want to give them a, a front line as well. And then move them over here. Uh, so we have the full five armies here. Uh, yeah, full five armies here underneath the field marshal. Okay, uh, so yeah, they'll move over here. And get this front guarded. We did get, uh, some military factories from the Austrians, so, uh, let's go and get these assigned. I'll just kind of take a look, see what we need the most. Uh, now that we changed all those division designs up, you can see artillery is pretty darn short. Uh, we got a lot of infantry equipment from them. Okay, well, that's awesome. Let's go and pull back. I know we're updating, but yeah, it's not as big of a priority now. Let's get more artillery since we clearly need more of that. Also, we need to change up the design to that one infantry unit because it's not complete yet. We need more anti-tanks for them. Let's do that now so we'll see how short we are on that. Uh, we can get rid of that template. And that'll be this one here. Oops. Don't want to build them. We want to edit them. Because uh, we need to get one more anti-tank to complete. Oh, they're still not completed. We need more infantry. That's right. So we haven't finished them because we still need the infantry divisions. All right, well, we're gonna save that and we need the, the rest of the support. There's still a lot of work to be done on those, frankly. All right, well, let's cancel. You see they're short on the anti-tank. 
we'll, we'll keep them here. It looks like they got most of their equipment. So we will need to put more factories into the anti-tanks, clearly. Uh, well, it says we're good. I don't think we actually are, though. I think it's lying to us. How many do we have in anti-tank? We have four. We're gonna put one more into there, guys. Let's see what else we need to do here. I think the, the rest should probably go into, like, tanks. Now, we don't have the experience to make the medium tanks yet. We can build the, uh, the equipment up for them, though. Yeah, I think the main issue here is the, uh, the light tanks. So that's what we'll put into. All right, fantastic. Uh, we're not going to have enough carrier naval bombers either uh, for that, that carrier. Uh, speaking of the carrier, we need to get it training. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And we also might want to get the, uh, the, sh the planes training as well. Uh, we gotta wait till the, the carrier leaves port, and then we'll be able to do it. I was gonna get the rest of these ships training up. And for whatever reason, the submarines are not training. Uh, we do not have automatic split off on, so that's the reason why. Okay. And I thought we had done that for both of these. Apparently we only did it for that one, though. Okay, so get that carrier trained up as soon as he's out here. And we lost him. Let's go ahead and find him again. And... Get him training, get the, the planes training. Now, I know they only have five planes right now. We can train the, the five that we got. So we'll do that. All right, so we got some units over here. They should all be training up as well. Yeah, we got them all training with the exception. Well, I guess even these guys needed to train up since we had uh, just changed them. We'll train these guys as well. Shouldn't take them very long. Get them uh, finished training. And we have more civilian factories. Uh, so let's go ahead and figure out what we want here. We're, we're building the radar up down there, but we have not built the radar up down here yet, so let's go ahead and do that. You know what, let's build one more fuel silo, guys. Just one more. So I don't like uh, the current capacity where we're at. So we'll get that done, and then probably more military factories. That's what we always need. We can also do more dockyards. You know what, let's do two more dockyards. We'll do two more, and then military factories. And this is all 70%, so yeah, I might as well build there. Get like three more military factories. That should keep our factories busy for some time. Uh, we did get the improved medium battery, and I did not build the battleships yet, so we need to do that. Yeah, we need to get that going. So we'll build that here as soon as we get a new tech selected. We still need the improved light guns. Need the depth charges, so we should probably do that or the armor next. We can do it in... 38 days here, so we'll go ahead and research that real quick. We have a decision available, war propaganda against Italy, since we now border them. Don't need to do that, though. And let's go ahead and build those battleships, because I think we have everything we need for them. Uh, we're already got a name for them as well, so that's not going to be a problem. Uh, so we'll name them after Imperial Battleships. Icon's good. Let's go ahead and get all the equipment changed up. So we got the heavy battery here. Uh, oh, we don't have the extra anti-air, but yeah, we're not going to wait for that do have some better radar, but we don't have that, that next level of radar. But again, not stuff we're willing to wait for. And we want the Battleship Armor 3. And so we're probably going to change this all up over here. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure we have two of the, the big heavy batteries. We got a little bit of room to play with on the speed. I'm going to try and keep it above 30 kilometers if we can. So we might have to use like lower level guns, but we don't want to get the, uh, the piercing too low either. That's always something to consider. So let's get secondary batteries, guys. Uh, we want the dual purpose here. Really increase that anti-air, as you can see here. Also increasing the light attack. And this one will also be a dual purpose. And we're only going to get rid of all the anti-air. And as far as which other one we want to put the gun on, let's do this one here. So we're going to try and get another heavy battery three, but it looks like we cannot. We only have two threes if we want to keep the speed up. All right, so we're gonna have to go down some, probably to a one. I know that does decrease the, the overall piercing some, but yeah, I think we're gonna have to go down by one, guys. Just to try and keep heavy attack high. And then with this one here, we might go to dual purpose. Ah, oh, looks like it's gonna slow us down some. So we might need to keep the, the anti-air here, guys. Yeah, I think we'll end up keeping the anti-air here for now, just because of the speed. Uh, I don't think we're gonna go with this. We're, we're gonna use the uh, float planes on other other ships. So yeah, instead we'll just go with the, the best anti-air, which is what we currently have on there. Alright, so that looks pretty good, guys. The anti-air attack is, that's not shabby at all. 
Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Heavy tack is decent too. I like the the heavy tack. Light tack's not too shabby. Uh, overall, this is a, a good design. Yeah, I like it. Now uh, let's go ahead and get it named. It'll be the Bismarck 3 A. Let's go ahead and save that, and we're gonna go ahead and build it now. Uh, we can say that that can be decommissioned. Just place it up here and get those building. We'll hunt the bull from the dockyards that we have on the cruisers, of course. That's okay. All right, so we need one more. Let's pull it from pull it from submarines. All right, so we have uh, these guys building up now. They're gonna be done on the 20th of April, 1942. So it's gonna be some time away. Uh, we will probably be able to decrease that a bit as we increase the uh, output of our dockyards in 1941 uh but it's still gonna be a while guys i think it'll be uh maybe january 1942 yeah it's gonna be about a year and a half before we get that that battleship built now uh, we do have that carrier uh training out there we'll wait to get the the carrier tech before we do the next carrier model which we won't have any dockyards for that until we finish up that battleship when do we get that done uh in july july 1940 is when we get the the next battleship done might be able to assign a couple dockyards to the to the carrier, I suppose. But yeah, getting all these troops trained up over here. Also, we can now modify our government. Excellent. Uh, we're not going to do the Chief of Air Force. That'd be helpful, but it's not as good as some of the other stuff available. Uh, I think we're going to go with Rommel here uh, to get the division attack and defense up. That's pretty useful. So we're going to grab that. Yeah, just continue getting all of our troops trained up. I don't know if these guys need training. They do. So I want to train that one. Uh, don't have enough for every province here right now so we might want to send some of the ones down here over there uh, now I know that we have yeah we got to get a lot of these updated so let's go ahead and send see how we want to do this we need more mountain troops over here uh, we have a lot of mountain troops on on this front which is unnecessary we would probably just keep one and send these guys down to this front yeah let's go ahead and do that and then we'll just take a couple of these guys here send them over to here and you know what? I'm even going to change these up now, since this is uh, an important front for us. I know we're lacking on the, the towed artillery, but it's fine. And then we're going to want to take a few more and get them assigned over to this front as well. Maybe one, two, three. Yeah, we'll pull three from over here, because I'm not too worried about the Italians, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Plus, we have the, the mountains here to help defend, uh, so it's really not that big of an issue. What we'll do is we'll take the ones that have the least training. That would take the longest to, to train up. And uh, let's go ahead and change them over to the Jaeger design. And then put them onto this front here. Okay, excellent. Uh, so yeah, they'll all get over there. Did we finish our tank design? I don't think we have. I think we still need support stuff. We got them up to the 40 combat width. We still need to change them up with the, the support. I wonder if we can provide any uh, attaches to anybody. Doesn't look like they would be willing to accept. Just based on the fact that they couldn't accept last time. We don't have the 100 political power to even check though, so. Uh, Serbia accepted our invitation, so if the Italians attack Yugoslavia, attack the Serbians and their uh, puppets, then that will bring us into the conflict. Italy needs to keep that into consideration now. Uh, so, excellent. We're able to get that done. So, now let's uh, take a look at what we want to get next. I mean, we could just get, you know, the Dutch are the only ones left to do here. Could do them. I uh, don't need that focus. I uh, could do the Baltic countries or Finland. I suppose we should base this off of what we think the Soviets would do first. Let's take a look and see. Well, you know what? Let's give it a day and see what the Soviets are working on. They are going to demand Eastern Poland from uh, Poland over here. So. Just as far as how their uh, focus tree goes, we really don't know where they're at on it. Yeah, we don't we don't know who they'll attack first. I'm trying to see if like if the Finland one or the Baltic one is first. It looks like they already have. Yeah, they, they would have to already have the Baltic one. So yeah, this is actually the one for Finland here. Uh, so yeah, they already have that claim. So yeah, they could attack either one really. There's no telling what they'll end up doing. So it doesn't really matter who we add to the faction next, since they're all potential targets. Well, the Dutch are not. But the Dutch are a target of the Japanese. And they're working on the first air fleet. Alright, well I feel like the Dutch are uh, probably the one of the more important ones of this, this faction. So I think we're going to go for, for that one next. 
it's gonna be really difficult to defend the Baltic countries from the Soviets, I think, uh, initially anyway, until we get more powerful. We don't want to do the Poland membership one. So yeah, I think we're gonna do the, uh, the little country one. Let's just get it knocked out, guys. Get the Dutch in there. It's kind of a bummer because, you know, they're the only ones we have that won't bypass this. But they're negative 89 because they have that aloof neutrality. So yeah, it's unfortunate. And the Italians just annexed Albania. So now they have a presence here and that might result in them attacking uh, Serbia now. It's a real chance. We'll have to see what happens there. I uh, would just get that carrier model again. We're going to wait until July uh, to build those. Yeah, we'll probably just wait till July when we get that battleship done. What's one more month? Uh, and then we're going to want to get the uh, the depth charges next, I think. We also need those torpedoes, though. Need a lot of stuff, frankly. Uh, the the uh, naval techs, man. Ever since they added that and they changed it all up, you just need so much stuff. Uh, we did get the improved computing machine. Excellent. That's a faster research speed. Uh, we could do the radar next. Or we could do the AA. Both of those are, are needed. Uh, how long until... I said 68 days to get that. Okay. Well, I guess the AA is probably more important, so we're going to grab that next. A lot of stuff we need, though. A lot of stuff. Yeah, the naval tanks, ever since they added those, it just takes you so long to get through them all. Uh, so we've almost trained all these units here in the Red Army, just the new ones that came from Austria haven't been trained yet. Same thing here. And then all the units on that Austrian border are currently training. Uh, we did get the armor for the cruisers. Okay, uh, let's see what we want to get next. We need the torpedoes, so I think that's what we'll do. We'll do the torpedoes over here, 92 days to get that knocked down. We currently have like three of our tech slots going towards uh, naval stuff. Four if you count the fact that the main reason why I want the AA is for the... Although, you know what? That is not going to give us new equipment, is it? And we'll keep going for it, but this does not give new equipment. What this one does. So yeah, we're actually two techs away from getting that, that next AA equipment. Alright, well it's fine. We can just update our guns uh, on the, the ships. It just for the uh, the capital ships takes a while, and I don't really like uh, updating them. I feel like it just it takes the dockyards too long to update them for what you get for it for a little slight boost. You know, if it's just for one gun or whatever. All right, so is there anything else left again? Uh, I could get the snorkels for the submarines. But we'll probably do the destroyers next, though. We need the light batteries, don't we? Yeah, we have to get the light batteries before we'll actually want to build those destroyers. Okay, uh, so I guess in that case, you need two techs for each of these destroyers and submarines, so we'll, we'll do the uh, light battery. Uh, one day we get those planes done, the fighters. Uh, and Venezuela joined the Anglo-Italian Pact. That's interesting. It's pretty early for them to do that. Uh, the mod wouldn't have done it unless they declared war on somebody, and uh, obviously they did not. So that wasn't from the mod, they just did it on their own. And we wouldn't have gotten that, that message, I don't think, if they did it from the mod. Oops. Need to get... The next plane model gone. Uh, so we're going for the the carrier model for those fighters. Uh, we need to get the current fighters, uh, fighters updated. Uh, we don't have enough experience to really warrant getting a, uh, getting an upgrade there, a variant. Uh, we do need some tungsten though. So let's go and trade for a bit more. Let's we'll see if anybody's got more for us, like an ally. Uh, looks like we could trade with Sweden. So we'll give them one of our factories. We also need a little bit of chromium, it seems. Okay, well, we're already trading with Sweden for chromium, so we we'll wouldn't trade with them for one more. So yeah, losing all of our civilian factories for the trade here. But we still have four lines gone, and a big part of that is from when we annexed Austria. That got us a lot of stuff, guys. Yeah, you see all these civilian and military factories we got from them. That was super helpful, overall. We should probably take a look at our plane situation. Before we started the episode, I did uh, get all the ones in the stockpile out there training. There weren't many. Uh, but we do have more now. Yeah, we could increase our tactical bomber numbers and our fighters. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll get... All right, these guys are all trained up already. We're going to get one of these uh, tactical bombers updated to 200. And then we're going to want to duplicate these fighters here. Let's just move the tactical bombers over here for now. Again, overstaffing isn't a problem when you're not at war, not using them, but we'll try and avoid it. So we got another thing of fighters as well. I should fill in those numbers here. Uh, we do need to get them training though. Same thing with the uh, tactical bombers here. Make sure they train up. Have uh, experienced planes. So we have uh, another division here. Uh, let's go ahead and take him and place him down here. So I actually have a 
a you know trained unit down there. And do we have enough units to warrant? We do. Uh, let's go ahead and warrant changing up. No, we're gonna be short on equipment. It's fine. Let's just hope we don't go to war. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be short on the artillery and the anti tanks. We should probably take a look and see if we need to, to adjust anything. Bulgaria is now willing to join the faction. Awesome. That's one of the countries we wanted in here. So let's go ahead and invite them. We'll protect them against the Italians. If the Italians, you know, they gotta attack Serbia first, so. And uh, we have a dockyard spared up because we just finished up that one battleship. Okay, so now we already know what we're getting. Uh, this is gonna be the new carriers. We only built one of that model, I think. So yeah, we don't have very many of those. Uh, so let's get the Imperial Carriers, and as far as what we need to update, most of this doesn't need to be done. Uh, radar, the engines, and then to the dual purpose. And then over here, we're going to get the, uh, the extra hangar space. So we're going to call this one the Hindenburg, and I like that name for it. That was suggested because, you know, with the last one, we, we called them, you know, the Zeppelins. So we're going to do the Hindenburg for this one here. And let's get them moved up to the top here. Uh, go ahead and give them all of our dockyards. We'll only do the one since you know we're going to have variants for them. You already know that's going to be the case. We do need a whole dockyard for somewhere, or we can wait until we get this one built here if it's going to be done quickly. Uh, 22nd of July? We'll just wait. Yeah, we'll just wait. Well, Gary accepted our offer to join into the faction. Excellent. We can't build any more units because yeah, the equipment is still an issue, I think. Uh, artillery and tanks are an issue. Infantry equipment's good. Uh, support equipment is also good. Just see if we can change up any production. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep the the two there because you know we're we're always gonna need that in the future. Uh, infantry equipment. Where were we at on that again? Uh, yeah, we're very good on infantry equipment. Uh, so we got all that from Austria. So we really don't need probably don't even need three factories. But I want to get some of that stuff updated. Uh, we're good on anti-air. Uh, Anti-tank. We already have five there, so that's that, that's enough. I think. I think artillery is what we really need now. Uh, we're very very short on the artillery. Is there anything we can pull from? That's what we really ought to be looking at. We can pull from the motorized. Yeah, we'll do that. And it seems the, uh, the light tanks are picking up. We're doing much better there. Maybe we can start building some more soon. Currently have 12 tank units. I don't know where to move them just yet because I don't know who we're going to be fighting first. Uh, it could be the fascists, in which case we'd, we'd be fighting here in Italy. They don't have any troops up on their border, though, so they'd be in trouble if they did declare war on us or any of our, uh, sub or I said subjects, or any of our uh, allies. I'm already calling them subjects here. Well, we are playing as the Germans, so <laughs> we, we think that they're all, they're definitely the the junior members of this, this alliance. Uh, so we got civilian factories. Do we want to get any more radar? We got really good radar coverage. Yeah, this is, this is pretty good, guys. So I think the radar coverage is fine. Uh, we could always get more rubber here. And also it would be more oil, which is, is it helpful. But with those two dockyards done, I'm still not quite happy with where our dockyards are at. So let's go ahead and build one more dockyard. And then we always need more military factories, so that's what we'll do. Get more of these. All right, excellent. Uh, we have a 70% there, so let's build one there. All right, so really focusing on the military factories now, guys. So we can uh, get more equipment built faster. Uh, so the dockyard that we just built, we actually do have an opening for. So let's go and figure out where we want to put it. One of them went into the Hindenburg thing. And let's put this one into probably attack cruisers. Yeah, uh, always need more cruisers. Also, we're going to want to get that battleship training up. And see if the... Could have put both of these in there. See if the carrier that we uh, finished a while back, if they're done training. Uh, no, not quite. They're almost there, guys. Uh, let me take a look at the planes. Yeah, we do have to put them back out there. Although it looks like they're still set the train, so we're good to go. And Leon Trotsky was assassinated. Not really changing anything, because we don't have Metzko going communist. So yeah, he wouldn't have had any effect in the game anyways. Are getting all these units trained up? I do imagine that's taking some of the uh, equipment. And of course, everybody's going to reject joining, because they're already in the faction. With the exception of the Dutch, they're going to join our faction. And what happened in here in South Africa? I thought they were already in. Did they leave it? Instead of joining, maybe I just read that wrong? Because, yeah, I could have swore they were already in that faction, the Chinese one. So we got the Low Countries done. So next, I suppose, will be either the Baltic membership or the, uh, the Finnish membership. I think we'll do the Finnish membership. 
if I had to guess, the Soviets would declare war on them first. Just guessing. Again, we really don't know. They could declare war on either one since they have war goals for both them or any of the uh, the Baltic states. So we'll see what happens. They declare war on Poland. We kind of thought that would happen because of the fact that they were demanding uh, Eastern Poland. So if the, the, the uh, Polish didn't give it up, then, you know, uh, it results in war. So Poland will not be joining the Soviet faction. Instead, they'll be conquered. Uh, we can't declare war ourselves to get this territory here, uh, which means that in order to unify our lands here, uh, then, you know, the lands that we have here in Prussia, Eastern Prussia, we would have to, uh, yeah, we have to conquer it from the Soviets now. Yeah, things are unfolding, guys. So that's been bypassed. It's, it's strange that it's bypassed. Hmm, okay. I think you needed all of those, though, so it is good that it got bypassed. But yeah, it's strange just because they got war declared on them that it would get bypassed. Uh, but yeah, you did need all of these uh, to do the strike at the source, which is just a war goal against the Soviets. So we can start that war on our own terms if, if we so desire. Uh, so yeah, we're going for the next anti-air here, guys. So we can get them for the ships. And we could always be building the better ships, I suppose. Maybe we should be. Maybe we should only build one more of these, each of these. Yeah, because it would be better to build a ship that doesn't have all the equipment. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. This is probably not the, the best way to do it. Because, yeah, it would be better to build, you know, the newer ship that doesn't have all the equipment than, you know, to build... Although we don't have the destroyers yet, do we? Uh, so we have to keep with those ones. But, yeah, the light cruisers, we should not be building these old ones. So, yeah. Well, as soon as we uh, get those done... And we also decrypted Britain. Uh, but, yeah, as soon as we get those done, we'll, we'll do a new, uh, new uh, ship model for the... The cruisers so i think italy would be the next one we'd want to work on we got all three of the major powers that surround us here and the only one that's left is the italians so yeah i think it makes the most sense to go after them uh, and then maybe the japanese after that again really just kind of focus on the major powers for right now uh we can't go in and get these guys training uh, let's go and take this unit here and i almost think we should place them there but you know what we need more units here this is not very much I'd also like to get some tanks over there. We could send this tank army here. Again, with the assumption that the Soviets win here and then we fight them next. They haven't defeated Poland yet, so we'll just wait. We'll keep the, the army there because, again, we could end up fighting the fascists first. You never really know what's going to happen. Uh, so with that in mind, we have one division for each one of these provinces here, so that's enough to hold it. So we'll just put them down here. So I'd really like to push forward there like rapidly if we end up going to war against the, the Italians. We got the improved light batteries, fantastic. Uh, so we don't have the destroyer holes yet, and I think that's all we need. Uh, of course, we don't have all the stuff for the submarines yet either. But we're gonna do the destroyers next, 92 days here. Also, we're gonna finish up those planes, and that'll allow us to get the carrier model of fighters. Still need to get the close air support, and I think that's what we're gonna work on next. 71 days, since we have a nice research bonus for that. Let's go ahead and get the uh, the new planes building, carrier fighters. Don't have a factory for that. Hmm. Do we want to pull from something just to get a factory going? Yeah, I think we will. Uh, let's pull from the, uh, the light tanks here. I think we only need like 20 of those. So it should be all right. Uh, but let's go ahead and take the, the carrier and move them out and put them over to this one so we're not using as much fuel here and get the submarines over there as well. Uh, how's the battleship doing? Okay, he's still got a lot of training left to go. Okay. And... Oh, is that battleship named the Bismarck? Yeah, because it's not the Bismarck model. It's the uh, Barbarossa model. But yeah, it's named the Bismarck. Okay, that's interesting. I was like, how did we already get a Bismarck built? We just started on those. Uh, so, Imperial South Africa did win here. So, South Africa's been knocked out of the conflict. And... They've taken over from China, so they'll become China again here. A little bit, this warlord has. China's just doing so so poorly. They're not in a good situation now. So I think uh, next episode will be the, the war, guys. I feel confident that it should be next episode, even if it's towards the end. I don't see how we don't end up in the conflict. Didn't make as much progress in this episode as, as I'd expect. We had a lot of stuff going with all the factions and, and stuff. Uh, let's see. We have one factory to give out. Let's take a look at what we're short us on. Still artillery. Anti-tanks is... Uh, we got enough factories for that, I think. 
We're always going to need more for the artillery, though, so we'll go ahead and put some more factories into that because we're going to be building a lot of factories here. Uh, we have four factories being produced, and we can now do a full four lines and, and then be working on a fifth one. Uh, so actually, let's go and get something going here. Let's get another synthetic refinery. Always use more rubber. Because uh, you see we're just at zero now. We're trading one factory worth off the Siam. Uh, we did get those depth charges. Excellent. So as soon as we're done building those one cruisers that we uh, already have building, we'll get the new designs done. We have everything for them except for the torpedoes. So I guess we need to work on the ship stuff. Uh, but how many techs do we have going towards ship stuff? Yeah, I feel like we should work on something else. There's so much any other things that we need, guys. We haven't gotten any of these techs here yet. We're moving closer to 1940, so yeah, you also want to get them mechanized. We don't have that yet. In fact, that might be what we go for next. I'll tell you why here in a minute. Uh, that's 1941 tech. We do still have 1940 techs here to get. That's something to consider. We haven't finished up with the uh, land doctrines. We haven't gotten any of the air and naval doctrines either. And we still need one more radar too. All right, let's let's do the radar, guys. Yeah, we'll get the radar first. Uh, I was gonna work on uh, the mechanized, and the reason for that is because that increases the hardness of the motorized. Uh, obviously, we need to build this for the medium tanks. That's what we'll use. Uh, we'll use mechanized for medium, motorized for the light tanks for their speed, uh, but. In addition to, to needing the equipment, it also increases the hardness for all the motorized by 100%. So very, very helpful uh, to have. So it'd make our light tanks better immediately. And it'd give us a nice uh, passive bonus there. However, uh, again, I do think we'll go ahead and do the uh, radar first. We should have a slot opened up here with the fuel refining here in just a couple days. So it's not much of a problem. And I suppose we'll use that one. Unless there's something left in the industrial that we haven't gotten. But I don't think so. I think we got everything. So the fuel refining will help this a bit. And, you know, we still have more stuff to get here with the fuel refining. And really that's, uh, this would help too since we do have refineries. But yeah, we're not going to go for that right now, guys. Let's go for the mechanized. 136 days to get that knocked out. So we'll see if we have it for in time for the war or not. Because again, this could start any time. I'd prefer that we didn't start it until China's out of the war, honestly. Because again, I, I really would like the idea of like China being part of the fascist faction. I think that'd be kind of cool. So yeah, I want them to get defeated. Uh, let me see, if we have two techs here working on naval ones, we do not. All right, so we're gonna keep two techs at all time going towards the naval ones for right now. So we're gonna do the submarines. Another option would be going for the, uh, hmm, going for the, the naval uh, doctrines. That'd be a good choice as well. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff to get uh, when it comes to the fleet. We'll just do the submarines for now. Since you gotta get those built. Oh, damn. Okay, so some confusing stuff just happened here. Two things. Two big things just happened here, guys. So first of all, Romania did not join our faction. Instead, they joined the Anglo-Italian Pact. Let me see, did we have a, a membership for that? Maybe we didn't have one for Romania. I thought we did. Oh, that would have been here. Uh, but yeah, this doesn't actually make them join the faction. Okay, so there was no guarantee we we're gonna get Romania in there anyways. All right, well, that's a bummer. We might wanna stop trading with Romania then, find somebody else to trade with. So Romania will not be in our faction. So that's one thing that happened here, is that they're instead going to be in the fascist faction. The other thing that happened here is they are now at war with each other. The Anglo-Italian pack and the Comintern are now at war with each other. So that's the other big development here. Now, they haven't been holed in yet, but they will be. So as Holland will likely join that faction as well, uh, the fascist faction. Okay, so a lot of things happening here, guys, because that means the Soviet Union will have to fight on their eastern front. Yeah, very, very interesting, guys. So yeah, they'll have to fight on their eastern front. We'll have to see what happens there. Uh, big developments there, guys. Also, with the Soviet Union now at war, I think, um, yeah, the Communist China is now part of the Comintern because of that's the mod. Uh, so a lot of things happening, a uh, whole bunch of stuff. In fact, this is where we're gonna end the episode. Uh, what well, we can contemplate. Uh, we'll, we'll get the dockyards, of course, and modify our government. But yeah, we're gonna be ending here, guys. We can discuss in the comments what this means. Uh, Communist China now is in the common turn. 
And Spain was already in the combat turn. I I'm really happy it went down this way, honestly. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. I'm glad Communist China is now in the, the common turn, meaning that they will not be defeated, which is what I was worried about, when the rest of China was defeated by, you know, the fascist faction, then everybody capitulates. And, uh, you know, they're able to, to annex all that. And I really like the idea of having a communist China in the common turn. And it, it worked out perfectly. So I'm, I'm very, very pleased with this, guys. I'm, I'm happy it happened this way. So yeah, communist China now in the common turn. And I mean, Spain is going to be at war with the fascists as well. So the Italians and the British will likely focus pretty heavily on Spain. So Spain's going to be in trouble. Uh, they'll get Gibraltar, though. Uh, so that's another thing. A lot of stuff happened from that, guys. Quite a bit. A lot of things to discuss. I uh, will just build... Let me see when we have this done researching uh, for the new destroyers. 65 days. So we'll just do two more of the destroyers. Let's see if there's anything else we need to uh, think about. Uh, the submarines. Uh, the submarines would also... They'll be done in 120 days. So we'll just keep on building like this for now. It looks like we just built one dockyard. We didn't get anything done uh, yet. So let's just go and place this into these cruisers so we can try and get them done a little bit quicker. 23rd of December, as of right now. Uh, let's go and modify our governments. Uh, I think we're going to go for probably something in the military high command. And I think we're going to do the division recovery rate. Out of these ones, I'm not sure. I think this is all going to be land stuff, guys. Because, yeah, I don't I don't think we're going to do this close air support one. It's just not a big enough bonus overall. Uh, I'm not going to do any of these. The only one I could really see useful down here would be the naval AA attack. That would be pretty helpful. Uh, but we're not going to do that, though. We're going to have to rely on our fighters to protect our ships, I guess. Uh, it's going to be all land stuff. Uh, we're going to need it. Uh, it's going to be a, a difficult land war. So that leaves us with three choices, but only two slots. So we have the infantry bonus, uh, division attack and defense, the division recovery rate, and the division attrition. I think we're going to go for these two, but let me know what you think, if attrition would be worth it over one of the other ones, uh, or I guess over that one, because we're going to do division recovery rate first. Uh, so for that last slot, it's basically either the infantry one or the army logistics. Uh, let me know what you guys are, are thinking. Uh, I think the, the infantry one would probably be better, uh, but yeah, if you have a different opinion, I'd love to hear it. So that's going to be it for today's episode. The war has broken out everywhere except for here in Central Europe. Uh, you know, we're the only ones not really involved yet. Uh, I think we could join by justifying a war goal on any of these countries. So we could join at any point now. But like I said, I would really like for China to capitulate. So we'll see what happens there. Because I think that would be cool if they get defeated. Again, I believe the situation is just China needs to be defeated uh, for that. That is not the right conflict. It's this one here. Yeah, just China needs to capitulate, and they're currently 66%. So I'd really like China to capitulate. So maybe we'll wait for that. If it takes too long, then we'll just we'll join the conflict. Uh, and then I guess the question is, who to fight first? The fascists or the communists? Eventually, we'll be fighting them both uh, at the same time. That's the idea. Uh, but the other thing to consider is that France is not in the communist faction. So if we wanted to have to deal with a two front, difficult two-front war here, uh, then that would be uh, something we would want to wait on. Another thing to consider is all of our... Uh, you know, all of the members are our faction. Do we need to help defend them in any any areas? Like, we don't have any troops up along here. I think these guys would probably push forward here, and thus that wouldn't be that big of a problem. There's nothing here that borders any enemies just yet. I guess you got the Romanians here. Hopefully all of our allies will be able to take the Romanians out in that case, though. But right here is another front to consider. This is the one, actually, where we're going to want to push forward. Uh, so we'd need units in Belgium. Uh, so that's probably the one front I think we'd want to send troops to uh, of our allies. Um, yeah, that's going to be the end of today's episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next one where I think Germany and the Central European Alliance will join into World War II. Uh, I believe we will. Uh, maybe towards the end, but I think, I think we should end up joining uh, by that point. So I do hope to see you guys on that video, and thanks for watching.